Uh, so here's a charger for the iPhones. It has what's known as a lightning connector on it. And I'm trying to find the authentication chip. Basically, the lightning protocol is fairly involved. And on my first glance, I thought these were all basically just transistors, very simple devices. But eventually, we searched on the internet here, and it looked like pin 8 has some sort of protocol that goes on to it. And it looks like that chip there is uh, connected to it. So let's do some acid de-encapsulation and see what's uh, hiding under the epoxy. Well, okay, uh, this is the uh, photograph of the dye that was uh, hiding under that black epoxy. And sure enough, it looks like it's a digital function, not a power supply function. And uh, the way you sort of tell that is that central area is what's known as a sea of gates. Uh, let's just zoom into another photograph and uh, see what we can see. Uh, those uh, stripes running up and down are the power distribution, basically. One's going to be ground, one's going to be power. And then all the little thin lines are basically the connections, the, uh, the metallization which connects the uh, devices together. And then below that, of course, will be the polysilicon, which is the actual function. And if we zoom in a little bit more here, we can see it's a little bit too blurry to do actual reverse engineering. Uh, I was taking this with a 40x uh, magnification. Uh, with about 100x, uh, you could probably start sorting down the details. Uh, so zooming back to the fold chip here, random logic there in the center. If you look down, though, on the lower right, you can see there's some other function going on. And uh, let's just zoom in here. We can see eight uh, data lines going down into uh, another block function. Now, if you look at the Apple protocol, it looks like the sort of challenge response, you basically have to send out fairly long strings of uh, information. Uh, that random logic above is only a few hundred gates. I uh, obviously can't encode a lot of information. I presume what's going on down here uh, is some sort of register store or some sort of ROM, perhaps. Uh, so zooming back out, we can see the, the five bond pads. Those were the connections that, of course, go external. In the lower left there, it looks like those might be uh, some sort of pro points for uh, manufacturing. Uh, the part may have some programmability to it as well. Uh, I know the Lightning Protocol tends to evolve a bit, and Apple had at least one episode where they tried to knock off the uh, third-party clones uh, so they could keep the accessory market to themselves. So perhaps that's what's going on there. Uh, the large uh, gold or silver-type silver uh, pad structures we're seeing uh, is basically the power distribution of the chip. So it's just kind of like a, a circuit board, uh, but of course at a very much more microscopic scale. Um, here's the actual part number uh, that pops up. It's a die marking. Uh, there's no manufacturer mark on the die that I can see. And uh, that number, I couldn't actually get information on it. I presume this is being done uh, in a factory somewhere in China. Other things you can see, uh, if you're really interested in the uh, reverse engineering of the, uh, the actual die, it's quite possible this uh, particular setup I have isn't quite clear enough for it. But if you want to actually understand what's going on, uh, you can actually look at uh, some textbooks. Um, the very first book published in this topic was uh, back in uh, about 1979 and uh, it's actually still quite relevant and it's actually available uh, online free. I'll, I'll put the links in uh, the uh, description of the video but basically it talks about uh, the structures and how they're built up. It's a, a bit dated but it's actually still a pretty good introduction so you can actually understand uh, what goes on in a silicon die. So there we go. Uh, that's what I found on this little charger and uh, sure enough there actually is a, an authentication chip and it is way smaller than I thought it would be. And just a level set, just how small this thing is, this is obviously a pencil, and this is the slide where the chip was sitting on. And, and yeah, that little black dot uh, sitting there is the chip that we've been looking at.